I thought this could be a fun idea for a series. Instead of a typical question and answer show, instead maybe do it but the other way around. Instead of having uh, you ask questions and I answer them, I'll ask you questions, hear what you have to say, and then give my thoughts on those. So I asked in a community tab uh, for anyone who commented, I asked who is the most overrated quarterback, and now I'm going to hear what you have to say and then give my thoughts on that. For the next video, I'd say let's just do the opposite way. Uh, let me know in the comments below who do you think is the most underrated quarterback and give me an explanation as to why. It'll you know make it more likely I will select it for the next video. And let's just jump into it. First, we have a hot take with a fire emoji, which always a big fan of hot takes. Matthew Stafford, he had some absolute stinkers in the regular season versus the Titans, Packers, Cardinals, 49ers. He got bailed out in the NFC Championship game by the worst drop INT in NFL postseason history. If the 49ers get that pick, they regain the, the momentum and win without a doubt. Then he also had two INTs in the Super Bowl and got bailed out in the most rigged Super Bowl since Steelers Hawks. All of a sudden, three or more BS penalties on the goal line when the refs weren't calling anything all day. Well, uh, don't agree with every point made there, obviously. I don't think that the Super Bowl was rigged. I mean, let's not forget that missed face mask that gave the Bengals a touchdown early on in that game. But uh, and even, I thought, you know, one of those interceptions that Stafford threw was kind of just a pure jump ball. I didn't really hate, him, hate it that much. And the other one was actually a good pass that just got tipped poorly and intercepted. Uh, that being said... I do think that Matthew Stafford is probably a bit overrated. I had him lower on my, when Kyle and I did our ranking the top 32 quarterbacks list, I had him a little bit lower. He is someone who had a great postseason run, but I think people sometimes will give someone a bit too much credit for a single good postseason run. Uh, to me, I don't think that, you know, at least in the regular season, I don't think he's a top five quarterback or anything like that. I've seen people talk about him as a Hall of Famer. That definitely feels like overrated. Not to say that he's not still good, but I think that this is a, a good take, I would say. You definitely remember him at his best, not at his worst. We also have Lamar Jackson as uh, someone who got mentioned a few times on this, uh, which was surprising to me. I feel like Lamar Jackson's pretty fairly rated, right? As someone who, when he's on, he can absolutely dominate and be the best quarterback in football. He won an MVP, but there's just some inconsistencies these past few years, and it does seem like uh, there's, uh, you know, a bit of an issue with, I don't think his throwing game is as bad as some people will say. I think a big chunk of it is he doesn't have guys to throw to, but still, he definitely has had his bad moments at times as well. Has a little bit of a consistency issue, but is very good one on. So I don't know if I fully agree that he's overrated. Next, we have Justin Fields, which I kind of get. I mean, I wasn't a huge fan of him coming out of college the way other people were. He certainly isn't in that Zach Wilson and Trevor Lawrence tier. All three of those guys had really bad rookie seasons. It does feel like he's someone who, because he played slightly better than Fields and Lawrence, might get a little bit too much, uh, you know, too much leeway there. Uh, I think that's probably fair. And he did get way too much criticism of like weird criticisms coming out of the draft, you know, like all those character issues, which were I thought were just nonsense. So I think people are maybe a little bit lighter, uh, more reluctant to criticize him at times, but he wasn't great as a rookie. So I think this is a fine uh, take to have. Uh, although I think the people that do like Fields are more banking on his upside. So I get both arguments. IDK, how people are saying Mac Jones is overrated when he only played one season and managed to completely gain control of the most complicated offense in football by like week nine. In order for someone to be overrated, it, that typically means they are regarded somewhat highly in the first place. I don't hear anyone saying Mac Jones is top a top 10 quarterback, so I'm not sure how overrated he really is. I agree with this take. People were, the reason why he said it was because there were people saying Mac Jones. I agree. I thought this was, you know, well said. If, who really is calling Mac Jones a top 10 quarterback? He is someone who had a very good rookie season, and we'll see how well he can continue to grow. I guess there maybe are some, like, slight, like, oh, he's the next Tom Brady kind of comparisons, but I think that that's not very common. So I, I, I agree with this take. I do not think Mac Jones is overrated. Dak Prescott. No one shatters against good teams like he does compared to when he plays bad teams. Prescott was a very common one here. I think I probably agree with it, although if everyone says he's overrated, are you actually overrated? Uh, I do think that, you know, a lot of people kind of put him uh, maybe a little bit higher than he belongs, whereas he's a fine quarterback. I think he's good. I don't know if he's worth 
40 million dollars i think it's hard to win a build a super bowl roster around him if that is the case just because the quarterback position is so important and he's really good but is he worth that much i think that's probably a, a fair thing to talk about him so is he a tad overrated yeah probably a tad overrated still a good quarterback though i don't fully know if i agree with the he shatters against uh good teams and you know only plays well against bad teams kind of narrative that's around him i think he's played well against good teams as well but I just think that there is a bit of a you know a, ce- a ceiling on him compared to some of these other guys. Here's an interesting one: Josh Allen. Everyone treats him like a god, and he hasn't proved anything yet. This is someone who I think I can kind of understand this take. Again, overrated does not mean bad, right? Overrated means where do people typically rate you, and is that too high? I do think that there is a bit of a. Some people might rate Josh Allen as a top two or three quarterback in football. But he is one of those guys who had had an incredible postseason. He was the best in the postseason out of any of these quarterbacks. And so if you're someone who simply values postseason performance, then there you go. Although, to me, I kind of look at that as it's a bit of a small sample size. I think the argument against Josh Allen compared to some of these other top quarterbacks is that while Allen might have the highest ceiling out of any of these guys, I do believe that his best game is better than anyone else's best game. The issue and kind of the flip side with uh, that kind of logic, is that, okay, yes, his best game is very good. We just, we didn't see it every single game. I mean, there was the Jacksonville game, right? There He did have some clunkers throughout the course of the regular season. So that's not to say he's bad. Josh Allen is awesome. Josh Allen is amazing. But is he better than, you know, some of these other top guys? I think you can make the argument no, and I think I might make that argument no. So I think that's a, a very interesting take. We have a Brady here. We had a couple of Tom Brady's with decent likes on them, which does not surprise me because, yeah, okay, everyone likes to talk about how Brady is overrated. At least some people like to talk about how Brady is overrated. I don't agree with it. I think Brady is, you know, fantastic. I think Brady is really good. Certainly right now, I don't think Brady is overrated, but he's doing I think most people say like he shouldn't just get credit for winning seven Super Bowls as the automatic goat, but I think you look at his, a lot of his advanced statistics and it kind of there's a reason why he's won so many. Plus, the way that he takes pay cuts certainly helps him win, which I think I think it's fair to include that, uh, you know, uh, as part of it. That's a tangible advantage that he gives his team. So uh, again, I get it. I'm not surprised he's on this list, but obviously I'm a Tampa Bay fan. I'm not going to agree with it. And finally, how about a positive note where it's uh, someone says. Not showing at all when I say I don't really think there is one. There's a lot of young quarterbacks starting right now, and I feel like everyone is in wait-and-see position. And that's not a horrible thought either. I certainly don't think that even these guys who I say are overrated, it's kind of like, yeah, I would put you at maybe 12th best, and some people might put you at like 9th best. Uh, There isn't anyone who I think is massively overrated, or anyone who I think that with the the knowledge that we have now is going to be way worse than we just, you know, some people are talking themselves into that player. So I get that take as well. And uh, I think, you know, probably fair to some degree. So yeah, there you go. That's my first edition of this uh, question of the day style video is what I think I'm going to call it question of the day. So again, uh, let me know in the comments below who is your take for who is the most uh, underrated quarterback in football. That's what we'll do for the next one. And we'll try this a couple times, see if it ends up, you know, uh, getting at least some views that I can keep doing it because I think it could be a fun way to interact with the audience a little bit more. I like talking to you guys. It's always fun. I think this could be a fun way to do it. So definitely let me know. Uh, Or, you know, uh, again, we'll see. If if this video bombs, then I probably won't make another one. But uh, hopefully it does at least good enough that I can make another video and we can keep this kind of thing going. Uh, I feel like I should mention just a little bit that I got this whole concept idea from a YouTuber, Jax Films, uh, who, uh, you know, he's a comedic YouTuber. The way he does it is very different. It's simply about just like, uh, you know, he calls it like uh, yesterday I asked you. It's more of a comedic, like uh, there'll be funny answers and stuff like this. Uh, But that's kind of where where the idea for this video came into fruition. So I figured, hey, might as well, uh, you know, make a sort of a sports related one. Definitely very different stylistic videos, but that's where I got the idea from. And I would have felt weird if I didn't just bring that up. So uh, if you want to check out a different kind of, you know, a similar format, but more of a comedic version where it's not about sports at all, search Jack's films, it'll come up. Uh, I'm not sure if he still even makes them because I, you know, I watched them years ago. But, uh, you know, anyways, I figured I should just throw that in there. What do you guys think about this video? Again, make sure you get your questions in, in the comments below, or your answer to my question in, excuse me, in the comments below. Always love hearing from you, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.